What the fuck is up, punchers? Racky, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Right on, right Actually, on. Actually, you know what, you know what? It's not just pretty good, it's fucking A. Fucking A. You know why it's fucking A? Why? Because I was playing fucking Bayonetta. For how long? I, I actually played this game for, for pretty much 20 hours straight. I didn't sleep. I just kept playing. It's pretty addictive. No, that's... There you go. That's uh, the perfect word for this game is addictive. It's it's madness. It's madness on a platter served to my eyeballs via injection. By nipple injection. It, it, this is a very titular game. Sexy climax. Climax action is what they're what's the buzzword around this game. But you know what? Don't get me wrong. I think I think a lot of people are paying attention to the sex of this game and not realizing that the <laughs> gameplay is genius. Is beyond awesome. If you love Devil May Cry, this is I did like Devil May Cry. This is like the first one. This is like the the apex of that kind of battle system. This is like the refined through the uterus kind of like it, it's evolved. Darwinian style. This is opposable thumbs on my prostate. <laughs> this was like <laughs> This game, fucking, it touched me in places where only doctors with big knuckles have ever been before. <laughs> it is, it is. It left me speechless. You know, I play a lot of video games, and when I'm done the video games, I'm done. Like, literally. It's like, oh, okay, that was great. And I throw it in the corner. I actually played this game again. So I, I went back and said, more, sir. More. <laughs> Give it to me again. <laughs> big, yeah, this, big knuckles and all. This game, it honestly, like, it made me sweat, want a cigarette, and fall asleep after I ate a sandwich. <laughs> That's uh, what this game did to me. <laughs> it's game, yeah, it's, you know, uh, it it's it's a great gamer's game. It's a great, yeah, it's a great time. It, it would give old people heart attacks. Oh, it would make my grandmother hide behind a Bible for sure. Well, Which I mean, actually kind of fits the theme of this game because you get to go around slaying angels. Yeah, you know what? I think I think one thing that people need to take notice here is the immense, like, the immense, like, okay, it's such a, like, silly, ridiculous game. And I think people out there will falsely call it anime style. This is an anime style. This is a style unto its own. Yeah. Right? These angel designs are wicked. Like, they are. This is like this is like taking like the best of like Catholic mythology and putting it through the worst Japanese kind of like well, me not the worst, but like the most twisted kind of Japanese art stylings that they could find, and they, they've managed to make them like I mean like look the angels they look elegant, but like they also the look like fucking crazy monstrous. Like you know there's something up with that. That's fucked. Well, no, it's exactly. It's, it really throws that whole Devil May Cry spectrum on its head. Yeah. And uh, they did a masterful job at, at really capturing sort of, yeah, exactly what you said, elegant beauty with... Um, with monstrous kind of, yeah, yeah, you know, like, God wrath, man. You read the Bible, he's not a good guy. You ever want to meet an angel? <laughs> Isn't that a movie? Isn't that Legion? No, yeah. that's uh, The Prophecy. Uh, the, a classic? A classic movie. A classic movie. But before we get on to the prophecy, let's let's stray away from from that avian yeah. masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> now this game, uh, seriously? It, you know, it, you oh. know, it doesn't take itself seriously. It doesn't. But except in where it counts, which is which action, is cha changing your character. You can buy moves. You can buy a whole bunch of stuff. You can unlock costumes. There's a lot of game here. If you're out there and you're going to play this on very easy or easy, slap yourself. Because you're not doing it right. You know, you're not. Play it on normal. Really experience this game. Beat bosses. You know, witch time. Slowing the game down. And there's no shame in sometimes having to watch a video to find out how to do it right. And that's what a lot of people are going to have to do with this. Well, I mean, no. I mean, like, okay, if you're really stuck, switch it over to easy. Get by. Like, by the end of this game, Andy... By the end of this game, like, I've never had a game thank me for purchasing it. This game thanked me for purchasing it. No, like, you know, most game endings, like, I gotta say this, most game endings are terrible. Like, I mean, yeah. I, I think I played a Bond game once where at the end, the cutscene was he jumped onto a helicopter and then it was like game over. And I was like, the hell did I, what did I spend that much of my life for? 
this game, like, I thought it was going to end, like, four times, and it just got bigger. Like, every step of the way, the game just gets bigger until it explodes. It's an eruption, a <laughs> climatic eruption in my pants. But anyways, um, even the credits are awesome. The end credits... That, that speaks... That speaks so much. I mean, I didn't get a chance to finish it yet, but I mean, like, if the credits are awesome, yeah. the build-up's got to be. I mean, oh, I mean, good. like, like that, you could go it? into this game hating the character design, being, you know, I like to think of myself. I've, I've withheld, not withheld, sorry, upheld, upheld women's rights throughout our video reviews. Yeah. Remember X Blades? X Blades. Now, I, I don't consider Bayonetta to be a a bad role model. I mean, she's very sure of herself. She's confident confident very sexy and she knows she's in control control man she's yeah. in control and the gameplay is just so good like where x-blades failed in voice acting and and God. all that crap this is exalted in that in that same realm and back to like i don't know like if the ending was like this super climactic as this game's well no it's just like 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 i said like if you're not a fan of this game by the end of the game there's something wrong with you because like it you're just not getting it at that point. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting it. And I mean, like, there's serious games out there, but there's too many serious games out there. Man, sometimes you just want to, like, relax. Like, Manic. Like, I got the same experience out of this game as I would out of a, like, you know, like a shooter. A vert shooter. You know when it's, like, almost instinctual at some points? Mm. Like, a really good fighting game yeah. where you're just, like, not even thinking, but you're just like, just, man, that's fun. It happens fun. and you're, like... You're in the zone. You're like, yes, I did that. Exactly. Yes, that's, yes, that's, yes. That's the best way to describe it is in the zone. When you get in the zone of this game, it's beautiful. Uh, this game has been beautiful. Like Even the like, fucking architecture, like the whole level design, it looks fucking... They made like that. They made a European city for this to all take place in, and they did it perfectly. Like, this looks like old Rome. It looks good. She looks good. I say it's a must-buy. Must-buy. Thanks for watching Control Punch. Out.